Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and to episode 17 of Research Paper Summary. Today I'll be covering an NAACL 2019 paper, Pooled Contextualized Embeddings for Name Entity Recognition. The paper proposed a method to dynamically aggregate contextualized embeddings of each unit string such that the word representation of the same word changes over time each time the model encounters the same word in the text document. In today's video, I'll first go over the context and contributions. I will then dive into the details of the pooled contextualized embeddings and I'll finish up this video by sharing some of the experimental results and analysis. I hope you find this video useful, let's get to it. If you're new here, my name is Ryan, I'm a PhD student based in London and on this channel I mainly share my journey as a student entrepreneur, covering my PhD research in AI, my entrepreneurship journey as well as different life design topics. If you're a student, entrepreneur or both, consider subscribing. Contextualized word embeddings is able to produce different embeddings for the same word depending on which context the word appears in. And it has been shown that contextualized word embeddings is able to achieve state-of-the-art results in many sequence labeling NLP tasks. They are usually based on character level language models, which means that they can generate word embeddings for any strings that appears in the text document. However, this approach often struggles to create effective embeddings for rare words in underspecified contexts. And that's why the paper has proposed pooled contextualized embeddings a dynamic method that aggregates the contextualized embeddings of unique words in the text document and uses pooling operations to create the final global representation of these words over all the contextualized instances. What this means is that this approach produces evolving word representation that changes over time each time the model encounters the same word in the text document. The proposed method has achieved state-of-the-art results in NER tasks in both Cornell 2003 and the WNUT 17 datasets. Let's now dive deeper into the pooled contextualized embeddings. The proposed method dynamically builds up a memory of contextualized embeddings and uses that to evolve the word embeddings as the model encounters the same word. Here's what I mean by that. Here's a figure showcasing how the pooled contextualized embeddings work. To embed a word, we first have to compute the contextualized word embeddings within the sentence. We then add this embedding into our memory of contextualized embeddings. We will then perform a pooling operation over all the contextualized embeddings for this particular word in the memory so that we can compute the pooled contextualized embeddings. For the pooling operation, the paper has experimented with mean pooling and max and mean pooling element-wise. This pooled contextualized embeddings is then concatenated with the original contextualized embeddings to capture both the local and global representation of the word. This results in the pooled contextualized embeddings having twice the dimensionality of the original embedding. When it comes to training for the downstream NER task, for each epoch, we will reset the memory of our contextualized embeddings in step two of the algorithm two, so that it has to build up this memory from scratch. This allows the model to learn to leverage pooled embeddings that are built over time and ensures that the pooled embeddings are computed only using the training data. After the training process, the embeddings will not be reset and will be left to evolve over time as they encounter more instances. The proposed method is being evaluated using the NER datasets, the Cornell 2003 and the WNUT 17. The paper uses the FLARE framework and the standard BIOS TM CRF framework in all the experiments. Here are the results. As you can see in table one, the pooled contextualized embeddings with different pooling operations achieve state-of-the-art results in all four datasets at the time of publication. All three types of pooled contextualized embeddings outperform the traditional contextualized embeddings. Overall, the minimum pooling operation yielded the best results for English and German of Cornell 2003, whereas the mean pooling operation yielded the best results for Dutch and the WNUT 17 datasets. The paper also performed an ablation experiment using contextualized embeddings without word embeddings to better evaluate the impact of the proposed method. And the result shows that the proposed method has a strong improvement against the baseline approach indicating that the pooled contextualized embeddings is able to capture the global semantics of words similar to the traditional word embeddings. And that's it for today's video. Over the last few months, my friends and I have been developing a platform called Zeratin, a platform that converts non-fiction books into actionable steps so you can spend less time reading and more time taking actions. On the platform, you can find over 150 plus actionable steps from many best-selling books. It will mean the world to us if you can go on the platform, check it out and let us know what you think. I will link up in the description below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys around next time.